So in a recent video I did about emulation, I mentioned that I had a PSP Go that was fully modded. And if you guys were interested in learning about how to do that, I would make a tutorial video. And a lot of you guys reached out to me and seemed really interested in it. So here is my PSP Go. I really like the PSP Go. It's a small system, but it's cool. I like how it closes like that and whatnot. So it's a neat little system. Now this technique will work on all PSP systems as far as I'm aware and it's super simple. Now this video, I'm not gonna show you where to get the ISOs and all that stuff. That's easily attainable through Google. And of course, if you wanna mention your favorite site in the comments section, feel free to be my guest. Basically though, I'm just gonna show you how to modify it so that you can put pretty much whatever you want on this thing. So without any further ado, let's get into modding the PSP Go. So the first thing we have to do before we do anything is make sure we have the latest firmware on our PSP. That would be 6.60. If you're not sure if you have the latest firmware, it is very easy to find out. You basically just go over to your settings, choose system settings and system information and it will tell you. Now you can see I'm already running the custom firmware on the system, but I'm about to take everything off of the system and show you step by step how to make your system flash modded. So it's very easy to do. So just make sure you have 6.6, .6, the official Sony release, as your firmware before we do anything. So if you need the original firmware, this is a site you can go to. Uh, it's very easy to do. You just put it in the update. It'll create an update folder for whatever system you have and it you can just update it from the system settings but i already had that system so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this website as you can see in the top corner i will put a link in the description box below to it this is where we get the custom firmware so it's just kind of showing you the different options it has um, we're going to get the one off of media fire here because that's the latest one it runs all of the um PS1 games with no problem and that's my primary function with this PSP Go. So we're going to take our file that downloaded and we're going to extract it here and you will get a couple different folders as you would get with any extraction thing. So let's check out what we have now. You're going to see we're going to go into the PSP thing. All the other stuff is pretty worthless. Go into game and these are our files. We're going to select these files and put the PSP into USB mode and now that it's in USB mode we're going to go into the PSP menu the game menu and we're going to paste these files in here simple as that that's not very difficult all right so now that we have those things put on our PSP what we're going to do is go over to the game setting go to system storage and you're gonna see something called update so I'll just press X to run the update and this does take you know, a couple seconds, you know, it's nothing, nothing too crazy or anything like that. And what will come up is a black screen with some text, basically telling you if you want to uh, indeed modify your system. So we want to modify, so we're going to press X. And now we'll press X again and the system will reboot and honestly that is it we now have a fully modified PSP go so basically one thing to remember is every time you launch the system you need to run this file here the fast recovery so if you turn the system off and whatnot um, you have to run the fast recovery and it will basically just quickly update the system again to let it know that it's running custom firmware and you are good to go. You could put uh, emulators on here. You can put PS1 games. You can run PSP ISOs. There is a lot of stuff you can do with this. So yeah, that's it, man. Like I said, this is super simple, super easy. And I hope you guys learned something. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. So if you have any questions about how to mod the PSP Go, let me know in the comment section down below. It's like I said, pretty simple, a couple simple steps and you'll be up and running in no time. Hope you guys learned something in this video. Be sure to like the video if you did. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I will catch you guys next time. Later.